It's interesting how stuff has a voice. Now, not literally, of course, but it does have its way of communicating itself. Some people are embarrassed when their place is a mess. They've long since stopped inviting anyone into their homes. They've isolated themselves in order to set up a protective barrier around them and their stuff. For others, it's the frustration of losing things. They miss out on opportunities and money because they can't lay their hands on what they need when they need it. I have cried with so many women whose marriages are in serious trouble because they can't control their stuff. When I work with clients and we come across bag after bag of shopping, it's usually an attempt to fill a void in their lives with stuff. Unfortunately though, the high of the buy doesn't last for long. Usually these items are found stashed away and never even used. It's interesting how memories, good and bad, are tied up in our stuff. Lots of meaningful discussions can come out of this whole area as we work to get to the heart of the matter. I remember the first time that I met Anne. Her husband had just died after a long battle with cancer. Her home office had piles of paper stacked so high I couldn't get in the door that day. She was missing due dates on her bills. Things were out of control. As we began to work together, I gently questioned her around her feelings surrounding how it had been when her husband looked after the paperwork. Well, bit by bit, she began to realize that she could do all this stuff herself, but it had always been her husband's domain and he was a perfectionist. Subconsciously, she decided that there was no way that she could live up to his standards and she was afraid to even try. It was amazing. Once she started learning and growing and thinking about this whole area, how quickly and how ready she was to start doing these things herself. She didn't need to operate in the way her husband had done things. She could do it the way she wanted to and the way she was very capable of doing. Well, Anne and I are still in contact today and it's amazing. She's maintaining that great work that we did together. I was so excited when I heard about this job opportunity. It's me. My best days are when I'm spending time with people, sharing a bit of my heart, not a piece of my mind. In my five years in business, I've had lots of great media opportunities. Currently, I'm on the radio twice a week sharing organizing tips. And last year, my business partner Rhonda and I wrote, produced, and starred in our own DVD, Power Over Paper. I read and research organizing topics, and I just feel I'm blessed with a natural know-how and a knack for working with people. And I must admit, I am very happy that there is an advantage to being a woman in my mid-40s. I'm just what you're looking for and I welcome the opportunity to talk with you in person.